as far as the eye can see, thousands of solar mirrors, beaming solar energy to a tower rising from the desert floor. When completed, it will be 240 meters high, the world's tallest solar thermal tower, powered by 55,000 mirrors, spread over an area the size of 400 football pitches. The $700 million project in Israel's Negev Desert started in 2014. Specialist contractors brought in from Turkey, Spain, Uruguay, and other countries are building the facility that will provide 1% of Israel's renewable energy needs. If that seems like a lot of space, height, effort, and investment for very little energy output, it is. Solar is an incremental game. Uh, takes a lot of surface area to get uh, to generate to generate the power. Uh, the intention of the state of Israel and all the other players in the solar market is to walk our way down the learning curve, get to the point where solar becomes competitive in an unsubsidized manner without feed-in tariffs versus fossil uh, versus fossil energy. The way it works: mirrors direct sunlight to the tower peak. From there, a 600 degrees Celsius boiler converts the energy to steam that is then channeled to the tower foot, where it is converted to electricity. Ironically, the tower's height has nothing to do with the amount of energy it produces. The height of the tower is governed by the fact that there's a limited amount of land for spreading out these solar mirrors. In order for the solar mirrors to hit the tower behind me, it's got to be tall. Solar thermal energy will initially double consumer energy costs, but with plans to build two additional towers to supply 10% of the country's renewable needs, those costs will gradually come down. Stephanie Fried, CCTV, The Negev Desert, Israel.